Good morning, church. Amen. Good morning, church. Amen. I'm smiling at you. Smile at me, too. Good morning, church. Amen. Can I see the hands of the children? If I say children, we are all children of God. So, the little children in church. The hands? Raise them up, up high. Wow. Thank you very much. So, children... This story is for you. But we are all children of God, so we can all answer. Uh, how many of us know Daniel from the Bible? Daniel. You know Daniel? And one of the stories we know about Daniel is Daniel in the lions. Daniel in the lions. How many of us have seen a lion before? It's small, isn't it? It's big, right? So do we know why Daniel was in the lion's den? I'll tell you why Daniel was in the lion's den. So Daniel was a very good leader. He was honest. He was kind. He was good in everything that he did. But, you know, people were jealous of him. And they never wanted him to be in the king's favor. And the king loved Daniel because he was what? good because he was honest so they made a plan they went to the king and told him oh dear king may you live forever we have thought and you are a very good king you are a great king so isn't it good that people worship you and the king said oh that is good that's a very good idea but their main plan was to sabotage who daniel so daniel was faithful when he had this law, he did not hide in his closet. He did not stop praying, but he prayed how many times? Three times a day. He continued to pray, and he was caught. When he was caught, the men ran to the king and said, Oh, king, guess who, are, who we have found disobeying you? It is your servant who? Daniel. And as the law stands, Daniel should be thrown in the lion's den. Now imagine being thrown in the lion's den. Would we be happy? We wouldn't be happy. But the king tried to save Daniel because he was a good person and he was honest. But the men went again and said, Oh king, Daniel should be thrown in the lion's den because he has disobeyed you. So Daniel was gotten and he was thrown in the lion's den. And the king, before he was thrown in the lions, then he said, Oh, Daniel, may the God you worship do what? Save you. And when the king knew that Daniel was in the lion's den that night, he did not sleep. He was not at peace. Early in the morning, he went to the lion's den and said, Daniel, Daniel, did the God you worship save you? And Daniel said, what? Yes, the Lord was with me. The angels were there and they shut the lion's mouths. So children, when we do what is right and what is excellent in God's eyes, and when we are what? Honest and kind, people will see God through us and they will praise him. Now that is our story for today. What do we say? Amen. And before we close, we would like to pray for the great twelves. Who are right? Who are not prayed for last week? Can I see the hands of the great twelves in here? Wow! <laughs> yes, the great twelves are in here. So, shall we pray for them? Our gracious, kind, and loving Father, who dwells above in heaven, glory and honor be unto your name this morning for giving us this opportunity of life and this opportunity to worship you. We come before your throne of grace with this story that we have heard of Daniel, a good and faithful servant. We pray, dear God, that you may make us more like Daniel, that we may be honest, that people may see you through us, that they may praise you when they see us, Heavenly Father. We have great twelves in here, dear God, and we pray that you may be with them, that you may remind them each and everything they have learned, they have studied, that you may go before them, after them, and you may be besides them. 
We pray that you may be with each and every individual, that you may bless them, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, and we know that you have heard our prayer. It is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to ask and pray. With thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. Amen.